Okay, today I'm going to do a review over the uh, Walmart brand or market side brand from Walmart. I'm going to do a Supreme Pizza traditional crust and I'm going to do a market side ultimate meat traditional crust pizza. They're both still in the box. Uh, the grand total for both of these was $21.99. And that's with tax, so it's just a penny less than $22 for two extra large pizzas. So these things are at least 16 inches across, if not more. Uh, I'm just going to follow the directions on these. It's uh, 325 degrees for 14 to 16 minutes each. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to have to cook them each individually in the oven. We'll just see how it goes. I mean, so far the price isn't bad. I mean, it looks good. It's kind of like a take and bake pizza from Papa Murphy's. If you're aware of what that is. It's just kind of a make your own pizza. and Or tell them what you want on it. And they make it and it's raw. And you bring it home and you cook it. And it costs even more than this. So anyways, we're going to go with that. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the video here. It's just I'm tired. I worked all night long last night. I slept three and a half hours. I got up. I'm starving at this point in time. I've got the oven preheating, though, to three and a quarter or 325. And uh, we'll get these opened up and take a peek at them. All right, so I've opened up the boxes and I've taken the plastic off. Uh, I did have to do a little bit of rearranging on this one and on this one, both. So, uh, so far so good though. I mean, everything looks good on it. The pepperoni looks, looks good. It is thin, but, you know, it is pepperoni. So, but it does look good. It's evenly spaced for the most part. Like I said, I had to kind of rub my hand across it and spread some stuff out here and there. Um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. We'll cook them for the uh, recommended 14 to 16 minutes and see what we come up with. All right. Well, I've got them cooked. And I've got them cut. They smell really good, actually. Let's see here. I just went ahead and cut in small pieces. Smells good. So I'm going to take a couple of each. So that first one was the Supreme. This one here is the uh, extra meat. And, of course, I've got some extra sausage that fell off. I do want to taste it. Got a lot of fennel in it. That's for sure. That's the first thing I can taste. But it is a decent Italian sausage. It's not terrible. I guess the best way to taste it is I like to go with the crust first just to see how that is. So let, let me check. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, the bread on the crust is seasoned really good. You can taste the salt in it. It's got a little herb or something in there. I don't know what it is. But it tastes good. That part does. You can see I it more than half of that. Let me try this. Hmm. Well, the sauce, the crust, the cheese, the toppings, they all seem to work really good. My honest opinion is, is it's worth every penny that I just paid for. So, if you're into market for 
some not frozen pizza that you can get at the grocery store that isn't it super expensive hey I think it's worth it well done Walmart well done I'm not unhappy so until the next time I can do something we'll see you then